Okay, welcome back. What I want to do is to recap on some work I did previously. Now, what it was, it was um, something to do with electrical principles and the calculations of resistors in series and parallel. Now, those of you who have looked at my channel before would notice that um, I have presented this before, but not in this format. What I noticed was that I didn't take the time to go through it step by step, which I'm hoping to do on this occasion. So please bear with me. Okay. Now, electrical principles. Okay. You know me already. Terence Payne, 2019, etc., etc. And this is reference to level two, okay? And I'm looking at the le le level two sitting gills. Now, what I want to do is to look at resistors in series and parallel. We will be looking at the more complicated connections and how to solve them, okay? We have a circuit which consists of five resistors. We are required to find the value of a given resistor. This will show the process by which that is done. Okay? And that's what I want to be looking at. So I'm hoping to take a little bit more time this time to go through that process. Now here is our diagram okay, of the series parallel circuit and I'll call this diagram K1. You have 36 volt supply, you have 20 ohm resistor, 5 ohm resistor and 4 ohm resistor. Now notice that this resistor here is still in parallel. It's still in parallel. So, sorry about that. These things always happen, don't they? That this resistor is still in, in parallel, all the issues going somewhat oblique. Okay, here we have resistor X and we have 12 ohm resistor. This I've called block A and this I've called block B, and you can see that they're both connected across the 36 volt supply. Okay, now you need to draw these diagrams out. So you can understand the concept. Don't try to just do it from the screen. It's not going to work as simple as you think. Because you have to get, your brain have to recognize what you're trying to do. Then begin to interpret that information so you can understand the concept behind it. Okay. Now in the diagram above, diagram K1, we have two blocks of resistors connected together. In block A, we have 3 ohm resistors with values of 4, 5 and 20 ohms. In block B, we have resistors X and 12 ohms resistors. The task is to find the value of resistor X. Now, we know there is 7.2 watts dissipated in the 20 ohm resistor because you have just been told that. Now, my apologies here because there is 7.2 watts dissipated, but I can't recall reading that in my question just now. So please do excuse me while I go back just to check. Okay, now, right, my apologies here, I didn't put in the information in regards to this, so I must have missed something else, so do, I do apologize. 
let's go back a little bit before the end okay now always feel free to go back and have a look at what if there's anything being missed okay Okay, right. So what I'm not telling you here now, my apologies again. We know we know the 7.2 was distributed in the 20 ohms resistor because you have just been told that. Now, so we have 7.2 watts. So I'm not telling you that the 7.2 watts dissipated in the 20 ohms resistor. Okay. And where is our, what block is our 20 ohms resistor in? That is the question now for me. So let's go back a little bit again and have a look. Where is our 20 ohms resistor? And our 20 ohm resistor is in block A. Okay. Thank you. We need to find the total resistance of block A first. So we have RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Now please note, I just put it at RT, but it would be 1 over RT. And then you go through that long mathematical process to find to bring it back to RT. But I know that what I've done here, I've simply inverted RT. Okay, therefore, 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. <clears throat> and then I'm going to have to invert at the end. So let's go through that process. We need to find the total resistance of block A first. We must find the common denominator that 4, 5 and 20 will go into. That's divided by equally. That number is 20. Okay. So having arrived at that, we then put 1 over 4, 1 over 5, plus 1 over 20. That 20 is a common denominator, okay? We know that 4 into 20 goes 5 times. 5 times 1 is 5. Plus 5 into 20 goes 4 times. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 20 into 20 goes once. 1 times 1 is 1. We multiply the reciprocal by the number that of the divider, okay? And that gives us our results. Now, we now have 5 plus 4, 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 over 20. We need to invert here because we inverted at the start. So, we must invert here. So, when we invert that, we get 20 over 10 equals 2 ohms. Now we now know that that is the total value of resistance for our parallel network A in block A. Okay. Now we invert, which means we put the 20 at the top and the 10 at the bottom. Okay. We must now find the voltage across A, block A. which consist of the 4, 5 and 20 ohms resistors. Total voltage across A, P equals V squared over R. So, so we're using P equals V squared over R. We need to transpose for V. Okay. We need to transpose for V because we have been given the wattage that is dissipated in the 20 ohms resistor. 
So here we're going to transpose for V. Now again, it's just the way I work, okay? So I will flip this over so it becomes V squared equals P times R. Therefore, I need V on its own. So therefore, it's V equals square root of P times R. So we, we have V equals square root of 7.2 times 20, which equals 144. Now, just check that, make sure that is 144. So let me just have to go back a little bit, make sure that we got everything in for you. Okay. Now again, I recommend every time that you write these things off for yourselves so you can understand the concept that goes on behind it so you understand what is being done okay when you write something down your brain does not forget it okay okay just going a little bit closer so you can get it get that information Okay, yes, that is correct. It's okay, I was just doing my own calculation, checking that um, I did, that did come out correctly, okay? So here you have V equals square root of P times R. We know that 7.2 has been given times 20, okay? Okay, yes, I'm happy with that. It's okay, forgive me for the, for the long pause. It's just that when you look back at these things, you, you then need to double check them, that um, the information is correct and the process you have, have applied has worked, as you think. Now the 20 ohm resistor, code 7.2 watts is displayed in the 20 ohm resistor. We have to, to use that. And we know that the voltage applied in a parallel network all the resistors will have the same voltage across them. 
excuse me. So we know that voltage will be 12 volts. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Okay. We need to calculate the current across block A. I equals V over R. So we have I equals V over R. Again, remember it's Ohm's law equals 6 amps. But let us now confine the total voltage across block B. We know the supply voltage is 26 volts. We know the voltage across block A is 12 volts. So keeping this in mind, we then need to subtract 36, take away 12, which equals 24 volts. Now the total resistance across block B, RT equals V over I, And let's go back to block B and let's look at what block B is saying. Okay. So I'm just scrolling back up to have a look at block B. Okay. So you will need to do the same yourself as well so you can recall and look at what is being said. Okay. That's block B. Okay. So here we have 6 amps across block A. Let us now find total voltage across block B. Okay? And we know the voltage across block B is 24 volts. Total resistance across block B, RT equals V over I. So we know it's 24 volts over I. So we know RT, we need to find V over I. RT equals 24 over. and that gives us 4 ohms so we know that the total resistance of block B yeah total resistance of block B is 4 ohms okay we now need to find the value of X so Resistance of X equals Rx equals R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. I'm using plus for duck over sum. Okay. So X times 12 over X plus 12. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky because we have 12x at the top and 12x at the bottom. We need to solve for x getting x on its own and that's the part that we need to begin to apply. Now I have to admit I did not do this in the first presentation on the channel. Okay. I work on principle that most of you should have known this already but I can understand now that having looked back at it myself that recapping and reissuing some, some, some of these will always be a good thing okay right so again we're now here so we have 12x at the top and 12x at the bottom we need to solve for x getting x on its own so what we've had to do is to we have to create a kind of simultaneous equation 
So, so here we now we multiply out the bracket subtract 4x from both sides divide both sides by 8 okay so here we have now what I've done now I've let me just, just go back a little bit I've moved this section here to the left hand side leaving me x or 12 x times 12 leave me 12 x on that side but when i move this to, to this left side it therefore becomes x plus 12 okay so you will need to apply the principle yourselves in order to understand the concept there is no shortcut there is no quick fix okay So here we now have and now I need to multiply multiply it out, okay? So 4 times 12 is 48 plus 4 times x is 4x equals 12x. Now I need to bring the x's by, by themselves onto one side. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. So I then bring, move that 4x to this side, which then becomes 48 equals 12x minus 4x. Okay, that little bit 48 equals 8x. Okay, now I then have I, I divide both sides by 8, and you see that 8 has cancelled out here, leaving me x equals 48 over 8, and therefore x equals 6 ohms because 6 8 is 48 okay okay let me just go back up a little bit just to recap our session a little bit more okay And look back where we got the four from, okay? Four ohms. Let's go back a little bit, okay? Okay, go down, go on down, okay? And that's where the four came from, this four came from, okay? Because it's the resistance total of that particular circuit B.
you are surprised how funny it is, you know, because you do these things right and you you, you put them down on paper and you write them up brilliantly and then you know it already, put it in place, but then when you come back to do it, you think you, you're trying to remember, goodness me, what did, did I do there, okay? That's why you always write down what you have done, so it always acts as a point of reference, okay? Now here, resistors in series, a most important component in electrical electronic engineering is the resistor, which is used to control the flow of current in electrical circuits. We know that electric power is used up in a resistor and this is equal to P equals I times I squared times R or P equals V squared of R or P equals V times I. This energy is converted into heat and dissipates through the resistor causing the temperature of the resistor to rise. Now it is important that the temperature rise is not excessive or the resistor will be damaged or in some cases may melt. The maximum power that can be put into a resistor without excessive temperature rise is known as the power rating of the resistor. Okay. And all I've done here is show you what a resistor looks like, connect, connecting leads, okay? And that will take take us up to there, okay, to fourth. Into the insulator material carbon mixture, okay? There are two basic methods of making resistors. One using metallic resistance wire and the other carbon composition. Now, please be aware that there are now probably other methods now of making resistors in place. But at the time, there were two basic ones that were applicable. But seeing that we have now moved into new technologies and we've found different materials, so forth, we can now begin to make amendments to that. Okay? So be aware of that and that it is not li limited just to two. And here we have a, a resistor and it shows you how to read the resistor. Now, significant figures is here, okay? So you're reading from, from left to right, okay? Right, and all this telling you here that uh, silver, gold, have a given percentage of silver here. It's giving us 10%, gold is giving us 5%. So here, if we're looking at an, for an example, this is red, comes out as two, violet, which is equal to seven, and we have yellow. Now, if we look at yellow down here, you'll see that yellow is four, right? So that means that you need to add four zeros here, okay? So that's 27. So that's 270,000 ohms, okay? Or 270 kilo ohms. Okay, if we go right on the screen here, it would come out as, can, can I put it on the screen? Put it right now, oh, I can't write on my screen. But you can see that now this 270,000 ohms or 270, 270 kilo ohms, okay? 
and we call this gold, it has an accuracy of 5%. Okay? So again, let me go through that again for you. Example, to read your resistor from left to right, the value here, here is red, equals to 2. If you go down to here, red has a value of 2. Okay? Violet is 7. If you go down to your table, it gives you violet as 7. Okay? When you put those numbers to get 27, you then look at your third color. And here it is yellow. And if you go down here and look at yellow, yellow is 4. Okay? So therefore, we know we need to add 4 zeros. Okay? So when you add 4 zeros to 27, you get 270,000 ohms. Therefore, that's equal to 270 kilo ohms. So let me repeat that. That is equal to 270 kilo ohms, which is equal to 270,000 ohms. Okay? Now again, write these off for yourselves. Try calculating the values for yourselves as well. Let me just go in a little bit more, make sure we can get this covered up, up for you. Okay. 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 And let me come, come back a little bit. Okay. You can remember that your symbol. This was an old style symbol. Okay, but you may still see them in some cases. Be aware of that. <coughs> Excuse me. And here I've just all of them here to give you a hopefully a better view of this. Okay, I'm just going a little bit make sure that we can see it. Okay. And here I'm showing you resistors in series, okay? Let me just go up a bit more. Okay, when resistors are connected in series, the same current flows through each resistor in turn. So you can see R1, R2, R3, the current will be the same in each. It will not change. And by Ohm's law, V1 equals I times R1, V2 equals I times R2, V3 equals I times R3. Again, write this out for yourself so you're familiar with it. It will keep coming up. It will not disappear. You're dealing with Ohm's law. It is the, it is the rule of electrical work. Or I should say the law of electrical work. Get to know it. The total voltage equals V equals V1 plus V2 plus V3. And hence V equals I times R1 plus I times R2 plus I times R3. To find the total resistance, we add some of all the resistors together. RT equals R1 plus R2 plus R3 for the total resistance of the series circuit. If you have more than three resistors, you simply add them in as well. Let us look at an example of resistors in series. Three resistors of 22,000. 22 kilo ohms, 47 kilo ohms, and 4.7 kilo ohms. Now that's 22,000 ohms, that's 47,000 ohms, and that is 4,700 ohms. Okay? For those of you who are not familiar with kilo ohms. But you need to be familiar with it because if you're dealing with electrical, you will need to be from, from very, very familiar with it. Our connecting series. The supply voltage is 250 volt supply. Okay. So, K 
calculate the current that will flow in the circuit and the voltage of course the 47 kilo ohms resistor first thing find total resistance first and here you have the total the process of finding total resistance now I don't need to go for this again with you because you've done that earlier so you should now be able to apply it for yourselves and it's 73.7 kilo ohms We need to find the total current in the circuit. I equals V over R. I equals 250 over 73,700. Equals 0 0.0, etc. From the amps. Or I equals 3.39 to times 10 to the minus 3 amperes. Okay. Me a second. I'm just doing something here for a second. I'm just trying to re check something. Yeah, yeah so that will be. Remember, this here is now in milliampers. Okay. And this here will be just in amps. Um, I'll just recheck that. I would have a look at this yourself, make sure that that's correct and tallies, for, tallies up correctly. Okay. And it should be so much. One. Now I think it should come up to about 339.2 milliamps. But I may maybe wrong. Let me just try to see if I can calculate that while I'm trying to work as well. Forgive me for the disruption while I'm trying something here myself. Okay, I'll have to, now, okay, just check this off for yourself, make sure that that is correct, okay, well, I've just worked it out and it, uh, it is co correct, but, um, because that should be, milliamps okay milliamp milliampers okay the voltage across the 47 k kilo ohms resistor v kilo times r okay taking a value into account and that will will be it or you could put this in here you could put this in as 3.39 to times 10 to the minus 3 And you should still get the same result. Okay. So you can see here now that we have voltage of 159.5 volts. It's okay. Sometimes you have to recap yourselves, yourself, just to make sure that what you did then was correct. Okay. I'm happy, happy with the results. So, but sometimes when you look at it again, it always can kind of shows you off. A circuit is composed of four resistors in series, the values of the three being 28, 35 and 60 ohms. When the four resistors are connected to a 110 volt supply, a current of 0.45 amps flows. Calculate the value of the fourth resistor and the power loss in it. 
now we need to find the value of the fourth resistor we do that by taking into account the total resistance of the circuit by ohm's law the total resistance of the circuit is let's make sure we get this up okay Let's go back, make sure you can recap that and the question for yourself, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to here and bring this up for you a bit, okay? We now find the total resistance of the value of the resistors that are known to us. The known resistors are 28 plus 35 plus 60 equals 123 ohms. We now subtract the value of the total resistance minus the known values of resistors and that will give us the value of the fourth resistor. So 244 0.44 minus 123 equals 121.44 ohms. So the value of the fourth resistor is 121.44 ohms. Okay. And let me just remind myself that we are dealing with a of a series circuit. Yes, okay, thank you. So we know the resistor is, is, is in series. Like I say, somebody has to recap yourself, okay? Now, we know R equals V over I. R equals 110 over 0 0.45 equals 244 ohms. And that's the value we got from here. That is this, okay? Subtracting that, okay? So the current flowing in the circuit is 0.45 amps. The power dissipated in the resistor is etc. etc. 24.59 watts or 25 watts. Okay. Round it up as over five. Now again here I've given you a number of examples because the reason for this is that you have practice 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 makes perfect again i will repeat practice practice makes perfect okay a circuit is composed of two resistors in series and has to pass a current of 20 milliamps when connected to a voltage of 250 volts if one resistor has a value of 5000 ohms what must be the value of the other resistor now here you've noticed I've drawn your diagram. Again, do the same thing for, for yourself, okay? Because it is a series circuit, we know that the same current will flow in both resistors. Therefore, R equals V over I equals 250 over 20 times 10 to the minus 3 equals 12,500 ohms. We know the total resistance is 12,500 ohms, so we subtract 12,500 minus 5,000 equals 7,500 ohms. Answer. Okay? And it is simple as that when you come to apply it. Write out the work for yourselves. Do not think that you can just gnaw it off the screen. It doesn't always work like that. Okay, and again, I've gone on some examples and I'm going to take the time to go for this because I think it's important that you have an understanding and that it is explained to you, okay? 
And based upon the previous presentation, I would like to make sure that on this occasion that you have more information than you had previously. A circuit has a resistance of 120,000 ohms and is composed of four resistors in series. Three of the resistors are 27,000, 33,000 and 5,600 ohms. What must be the value of the fourth resistor? If the current is connected to a 350 volt supply, what will be the power lost in the 33,000 ohm resistor? Now here we, here we have it, okay? Value of the fourth resistor, 27,000 plus 33,000 plus 5,600 equals 65,600. The fourth resistor value is 120,000 minus 65,600 equals 54,400. Now again, you need to, to look back to see where the, all the information came from, okay? And where the values came from, okay? Thank you. Okay. And in case you're wondering where this 120 came from, look at it. It came from the question. Okay. So look into the question. Total count in the circuit, I equals V over R. And again, And again, you should find that works out correctly. Okay. Now, power loss in the 33,000 ohm resistor, we find voltage across the resistor and 96.23 volts. Okay, P equals V times I, uh, 280 milliwatts. Okay, and all done here is just drawn a diagram that represented our circuit in question. Okay, now although we have only considered simple series and parallel circuits, this information will enable us to solve a large number of quite complicated circuits or networks. Okay. We are going to look at simplifying a complicated circuit to its simplest form. And all I've done here is to take this diagram, okay, let me go back a little bit to make sure we can get it all in, okay. okay. And you will see that I have R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5. And I want to simplify that down to a single resistor. Okay. We now need to simplify the above circuit. Then it comes down to R1, R2, R3 plus R4. Again, okay. And you can see where that came from here. Okay. That was R3 and R4. That becomes R3, R4, R5. We then go down to R1, R2, and I've simply said here that that now becomes RT equals 1 over R3 plus 1 over R4 plus 1 over R5. Because 
it's a parallel network okay it's a parallel network so I've got to find the total value here and when I've done that oh I'm dying did I give an answer to this? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yes, I should give an answer. Yes, yes, I have. Thank you. Okay. See, R T R T equals R one plus R two plus R one over R three plus one over four x is one over R five. This is the final value of the complicated circuit. Okay. Because what you have to do here, you have to take into account this is a parallel network, so you need to deal with that as as a parallel network. Okay. So we didn't have that. Did I? Okay. And you can see that by adding these together, applying that process. You will find that it will end up with just simply one resistor, which will contain all those values. And that will be your end result. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I hope you find this use useful, and I hope I've done a better job on this one than I did on the previous. Okay. Uh, I apologize for any long pauses or delays. It's just to make sure that the information I was given is correct. Okay. Let them just go back up make sure that we've got everything in okay and again don't forget to write out the work okay Let's get this up. Okay, let's go back up. Just purely recapping, make sure that all the work is on screen. Okay, and that it can be seen. Okay, that's us. Thank you. Now, thank you. Have, have a good day. Bye-bye.